Viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Mech Commander, the original campaign. So, a little bit of a different objective here. We've got one, two farms to defend, as you can see for our main objective. No secondary objectives this time around, but I'll go over the idea of the mission as I scroll down here. Five small artillery strikes, very useful for dealing with the multitudes of vehicles we're going to get, and one large, harder to use, but if I can drop it on a certain mech, I will be a very happy mech commander. So, feel free to give a read through here. Brief summary, the resistance cell that helped our troops land on this smoke jaguar occupied planet basically gave themselves away by helping us to land. So we've got to protect them from the counterattack. Why they're hiding out in a couple of farms and why we don't just extract them, I don't know. But, as it mentions here, Tactical believes a mine layer could prove valuable and will be trapping the limited paths. It will. We're going to mine here and here, and maybe up there, and probably there you can see the path through. Now there are several possible places you might get salvaged, the only one that really has anything is up here. And it's not great, but it's going to count. There's a forward drop zone, as they mentioned here, we're going to put Mystique and her Raven to help us scout, and also give us a nice little revealed area up here. Remember, thanks to no fog of war, if I start a light mech and bolt her right up, that means that we'll have plenty of time to get some scouting, and hopefully time to drop some artillery strikes. And last but not least, Whatever you drop in a mission, in terms of vehicles, you don't get back. It's not like dropping a mech. So, when I replay this mission afterwards, I plan on not spending 9,000 resource points on this stupid mine layer, but for the purpose of showing you the best way to play the mission, the least frustrating way to play the mission, I am going to purchase one now. I'm also going to purchase Hitman, because viewers, look at that gunnery skill. That is awesome. This is Hitman. Get on, sir. And he sounds kind of badass too. So as you can see, I'm going through a lot of RP, but it's not over yet. I need to fix up my other mechs. So 47350. So a little over 4,000 RP to fix, what, probably a third of its armor bar? The downside of your Mad Cat getting beaten up is it's expensive. So I'm going to pull Rooster, this is Isis, Isis this is Siren. reassign Siren, this is the beast. reassign Beast. Hitman. He's my second best shot. This is Hitman. He gets the Mad Cat because Fire uh, Hunter needs to make these few shots he gets really count. Lynx is right up there. He's going to go in the Olar. This is Lynx. Beast is also pretty skilled. Gets that one. I should put him the in there. Beast. This is the Beast. This is, this the, is the Beast. beast because SR missile packs need a better gunnery. This one has a streak SR pack, so this Siren can take that because those never miss. And these guys can just kind of bum around. I'm going to fire a hawk one day. Just cuz. And put the mine layer into the rotation so I can deploy it. So, we're going to make use of that advanced scout point with Mystique here. Hitman in the mine layer, group one. And unfortunately, I have to leave behind one of my light mechs in order to make room for the frickin' mine layer. But that's how it goes. So. With this setup, we deploy. First things first, Mystique down here. We run her up around there, but we saw that salvage. Group 1, I want her around there. Group 2, I want her around there, except for the mine layer. Move these. There we go. So the mine layer is going to live up to its namesake, and we're going to have it mine. Hold down the F key, and there we go. So as you can see, nothing is getting away from those mines. It, does, it, it mines the whole area. So two SRM carriers, uh, light ones, move down this way. So we're just going to make sure that uh, nothing can get by it. So take care of that. And as you can see, we have some guys coming up here. And this is where I want to put my first light artillery strike. Because Condors, packing large pulse lasers, go uphill much more slowly. I kind of wish I could make group 1 hit Empire group 1, but not, it's not so lucky. And boom. One corner left and it's at half health. Perfect. You do get some contacts up here, but they are in fact just empty vehicles. So not too worried. You. I want to move down here. Hunter here. I'm detecting a new sensor target. So we capture those resources. Capture those resources. I think I just moved Mystique there by mistake, but nope. Several. Again, this that's a lot of 
firepower, not for us to deal with, but for guys who are going to wreck a building. And he's going to serve a different use there by actually blocking the path. Except they got by it. They normally do that. There we go, excellent. Dealt with. So you will mine right back up here again. Another SRM carrier coming down, we'll quickly take care of that. And Mystique, did you capture that? You didn't. Okay, that's the end of that. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Siren here. I think I have a contact. You do. My sensors have contact. I'm on it, sir. You to run your butt. All the way up there. Enemy components captured. Got one. Okay. So group one, I need to scout you down. Come on, group one, where can you go here? One there. Hit man, because I don't want to move the whole thing, because that'll just move them out of position. Mystique, I need to do more scouting for me. Because you have a little bit of time before the second wave arrives, but they are going to arrive and they are going to do some serious damage. Those guys, uh, that was nothing. The reason I also went on the scouting, so I have a better idea where to drop more mines. That ought to do it. So, you guys move back up. Mystique. Move there. Now, there should be a place I can do some more mining. Ah, here it is. So, we'll get you to move up there with mines. And Mystique. This is a residential zone, as you can see. So the big thing about this is preparedness. Now, again, I have the advantage of having played this game so I know where they're coming from. Even then, that might not give Artemia a win. Because the unit I'm going to have to go up against is, unfortunately, a Hunchback. Hunchbacks pack heavy auto cannons. They only get 13 shots, but that's kind of more than they need to really ruin your day. And that's still... Field is still whole. Good, good. And if I can just finish exploring the rest of this before the hunchback shows up, I'll be very happy. Well, I'm so happy now, viewers. Mystique, get in there. So that's the narrow pathway we just saw. So I need you to go here. And my other guys in there, and Hitman in there. And last but not least, Mine Lair, do your thing. I don't think they'll set off your... Yeah, your friendlies don't set off mines. That was one thing I wasn't quite sure about, so I'm very relieved to find out that's the case. I was just man and micromanaging here in my mine layer. Because in addition to the Hunchback, it comes with, I think, 10 or so Savannah Masters. Really annoying. Yeah, here they come. So that's 12 seconds. Oh, crap. That wasn't... Gonna miss it. Damn it. Definitely missed it. But as I said, that's the major threat coming, and I want to make sure my mind there does not get tagged by that heavy autocannon. Do some damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're going to take your beating and you're going to like it. Alright, Hitman, get in there. Well, that's nice and slow down. Okay, there's that heavy auto kind of coming into play. There, punch him out. Oh, crap. Come on, guys. Toast that thing. Yes, there it goes. Kaboom. So I didn't get the heavy autocannon, but again, I didn't really think I would. 
So as you can see there, those detonations... Ah, there's the first SRM carrier went down. Excellent. So all those landmines really did a pretty good number on the Hunchback. And they slowed it down, which does my Mad Cat again in some good shots. And if I had been a little bit quicker, I probably could have taken it out without taking that uh, leg hit. But so there's a Cougar and an Uller, so a pair of Clan Mechs. I know the Savannah Masters blew up in the... Yeah, look at all those... Savannah, 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 Savannah. They all carry lasers, and again... Actually, they carry light lasers. No, they probably carry regular lasers, because I don't think the light laser is actually available as a weapon in this game. So you can see in a defensive mission how much difference a mine layer makes. And again, I'm not losing any health or anything. There's no downside to me using one of these. Uh, in this mission, you'd be silly not to. Except again, I don't want to spend the 9,000 bucks. Oh, and there's another one down there. I have a new contact on my screen. And that is, I believe, yeah, that's the forest fire I started. Whoops. This should do some pretty good damage to those guys. Yep. A new sensor target. That did indeed. Yes, sir. The other nice thing too is that's gonna get them running. Acknowledge. Yes, sir. Acknowledge. So they're gonna hurry the heck up. I think I have a contact. No, not you, my lair. Keep laying mines. This is Hunter. I'm in contact on my team. Raining bullets over here. Excellent. Is that a... No, I thought that might have been a headshot from how fast it went down, but it was not. Oh! That guy really exploded. Now, are they one hitman in there right now? It's those landmines are going to start slowing nothing down. Oh, my mine lair! I'm on it, Who wants some of this? Now I've got to get some good rear shots here, so let's keep going. Now these guys are going to target the farm specifically. Yeah, crap. Normally the guys really actually should have lost this mission by now. Come on. No. I would have liked to have salvaged some of this clan stuff, but... Nice shot, Mystique. So, poof. A little crazy there. See, so yeah, on a single headshot. Alright! Hunter's a veteran. No kills from Mystique, no kills. Oh, I got the Cougar! Sweet deal. You know, viewers, as much as I might want to replay this with Mine Layer, that kind of makes up for it. Clan Large Pulse Laser. Man, that's. Yeah. I want to double check and make sure I salvaged all that. Cougar. Yeah! Wow. Another light clan mech to add to my collection, so I can probably trash one of my commandos here. Especially considering I have this. What's in the Elder? Oh, the Elder lost everything. Blah. But yeah, there you have it, viewers. Another mission under my belt. And under our belts. Hey, man, took some pretty good pounding there, though. Oof. It's that hunchback. Just tore him up good. Well, not that bad. Mostly it took damage to one of the legs, so. But anyhow, that is that for now. So, thank you for watching, viewers. And uh, one last mission for this particular, one last op for this mission, rather. Pretty straightforward. Kill everything that moves. Almost no artillery support, though. This is going to be a slugfest, especially with 300 pound, 300 ton drop weight. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next vid.